Yo guys, we're talking about the world's first hologram protest. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Dave Wappa and this is I O. So guys, have you guys ever seen Star Trek or Star Wars? I swear to guys, if you guys haven't, you're living under a rock and you should just go see it now. And P.S. If you see Star Wars, please see it in the correct order. So guys, we're going to Madrid for this story because there was a hologram protest happening in that city. This is the citizen safety law, which is having people be up in arms all over it. This law pretty much states that you could be fined if you protest outside of a government building. So that's right guys, so now it's like smoking. You have to protest protest in a designated area. But this law is coming into effect and to get some really big buzz on it, a bunch of guys decided to do something really cool. They decided to do their protest through the form of holographic technology. And of course guys, yeah, it's unfortunate our holographic technology is not like it is in Star Trek where it could actually be an actual thing. It's more like it is in Star Wars with that old help me Obi-Wan Kenobi thing. You know, you can't really touch it, but it's there. Now the spokesperson for this movement called the Hologram Para de Libertad, he pretty much said that the hologram technology is the last attempt at a movement because if these laws aren't changed, the only way they could protest is through holograms. And to give you an idea of how serious this is, one person could be fined up to 600,000 euros. And that includes 600 euros for disrespecting police officers. So what do you think of this guys? Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's not cool? Also, if you guys had your own holographic technology, what would you do with it? I think you guys could come up with some really cool answers down there, so let's see them. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Dave Wapple, keep it real, keep it classic, keep it on the flip side. Out there, in the holographic world.